Hey guys, and welcome back to Photoshop for You. In this course, we're gonna cover all of the Photoshop CC essentials. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to arrange the panel section over here, what you can see here. Okay, so if you don't see the essentials workspace, just go to window, workspace and set it to essentials okay and if you still don't see it okay so go to workspace and reset essentials okay this one very good now we're gonna explain a little bit what is the workspace so because Photoshop is so many things to so many people. You have uh, photographers, you have uh, web designers, you have um, whatever. A lot of people use Photoshop for retouching uh, images and work in magazines and stuff. So every each one of them have a different workspace. They come and use. Okay, so let's say you are, um, let's see the workspace you have. You have, you are a web designer. Okay, so basically you, Photoshop is guessing that you probably will use the character because you, there's a lot of text going on over there. You have, uh, see all the text section. Okay, symbols and stuff. Okay. Let's say you are a photographer, so you have a, a different, you will get a different workspace and a different panels. Okay, it depends on what you're working on. So let's say you choose essentials and now you want to edit some text where so there's no panel text panel over here. There's nothing. You have only the color, the swatches, some adjustments uh, that you can do to your file, images and stuff. You have styles, but you don't have the, um, the type panel. Okay? So you don't want to switch between, uh, let's say, printing or web designing. You want your own default workspace so here in the window you have a list of panels so if you want to add paragraph okay so as you can see by default when you're adding some panels it will go and stick to this row okay if you want to remove it and to make it in the main row on top or under as you can see it just drag and when you see the blue line you can drop it over here and it will take effect so now let's go again to the window as you can see the colors is on top the swatches okay so when you click window you can see the color have a check symbol Okay, like a V. And when we click the swatches, when you open the window list, you see the swatches is now checked by the, this symbol and the color is not. So you can check and uncheck it in this window, but it's not common to, to do that. You just click here on the color, on the swatches, and you can bring it on top or under whatever you want. So now let's say you, you want to get rid of it. How do you do it? So you just click on the color and now you have the X symbol, okay? Just click X and it's gone, okay? Let's say you don't need all these panels to be, it's too much for you. Let's say you want to take the characters near to swatches, okay? So now the characters 
are near two swatches in the same panel, as you can see here. Okay, now you want it above, under, whatever you want it. You just put it over here, maybe another row. Maybe you don't want it. So now, after you do all the arrangements that you need, you check and uncheck this window section and you choose your panels and you want it to be your workspace. So now you, you can go from here and add a new workspace, call it number one, let's say one, okay, very simple. And you can, you can check the keyboard, shortcuts, it's the same, menus, toolbars, leave it just like that, okay? Now you save. When you open your uh, workspace panel list, you can see now that you are working on number one. So let's say you just added brush to your workspace and you added a lot of things, clone and many things, okay? Now it's for a specific project. Now when you close the Photoshop program and you open it again, it will automatically save it as the latest changes. It doesn't save it to a new workspace. It doesn't overwrite your workspace, let's say number one workspace. Just leave it in this condition for temporary time. But you just now you're working on different project and you want your number one this what this panels will not disappear until you reset your number one and all the things the panels that we added to it are gone and this is how you rearrange your workspace and your panels and let's say now you want to delete number one you stop using it Click Essentials, and now you want to delete workspace number one. Delete, make sure you are deleting the right workspace, and click Yes. Okay guys, we just covered all of the panels, and uh, now... Okay guys, that's it for today. We just covered all the panels, how to rearrange and arrange and rearrange your um, panels and workspace, add new workspace, delete old ones. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below and like our video. Until next time, bye.